if someone said, oh, I've just dropped 120 bucks on this thing, and then you say, damn, he's got the upper hand on this game, and then you try and keep up, and then you realise, I don't have a job, they have a job, and then you're like, damn. There's a general consens consensus among a society that you're expected to have this or you're expected to do so well given your upbringing and that, it, that can put uh, significant financial pressure and also mental pressure on an individual and their well-being. Yeah, well you've got to have a mobile phone and uh, the, you know, if you want to have a good smartphone, it's all money, yes. I think everything is made to sound as though it's, it's much easier to acquire. I think the pressure of things being just out there for the taking and the asking can be stressful for younger kids. People are always like, oh, brand names and this and that. So you, sometimes you do feel like, oh, what, like I should be buying this or I should have an interest in this. Access to credit is much easier now. I remember when we, one of our kids left school, a bank manager said, oh, now you've left school, you'll need a credit card. But I, I wasn't very happy about that because it was really pushing a 17-year-old to spend money. When you have like all the people around you expecting that you make this much money, you drive this car and that sort of thing, you live in this area, I think it does have a toll on well-being and there needs to be sort of uh, a grounding for people or like a uh, disclaimer that say you don't need to have the best of everything, it's, it's okay to live just a normal life.